three quickly beyond letting God deal with your heart issues that are coming up whatever it is that's bringing up the uh, frustration the fears the doubts don't be afraid of those uh, just ask God why they're there and ask him to do something with them and let him deliver you from whatever that heart issue might be um, so that you'll better be able to enjoy your promise when it comes so that's part of preparing and that's part of seeding your clouds because if you're seeding on clouds you're preparing for the rain you're preparing for the promise and the rainbow um, I'm sorry I'm only half in here you can look at my back seat but anyway so for me preparing for marriage means changing some mindsets and some tendencies maybe to flirt or check out other guys or things like that because when you're single that's okay when you're married it's not there are a lot of changes and preparations you might need to make mentally spiritually literally physically in your life there may even be steps you need to take to get to your promise just don't be like Abraham and Sarah and uh, don't birth an Ishmael don't try to make your promise happen by your own hands but you can prepare for the promise so part of seeding the clouds is asking God if there are any steps you can take in order to prepare for the rain and prepare for the rainbow promise so ask God about what that might be for you that's it